Hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I'm very excited because in today's video, I just finished up on this one-of-a-kind bag. Uh, this is going to my friend Michael. Uh, this is the second bag that he's purchased from me. So Michael, thank you so much for your support, my friend. This bag was a lot of fun to make. So this bag is going to be made of cobalt blue Gen X leather from the Tasman Tannery. I ordered this from Acadia Leather. And then it's a very special combination with natural Dublin, Horween's natural Dublin that I got from Maverick Leather. Michael opted for the outer cargo compartment. I took the liberty of placing all contrasting leathers throughout just to give the blue and the natural a really deep, rich contrast. One thing that I've always loved about navy boots in particular, this is part of the reason why I love blue boots so much. All right, so here are my Grant Stone Ottawa boots in Midnight Suede. Part of what I love about navy and natural together, I've always loved it, is just, it just, it's such a rich, beautiful contrast. It's, it's, al it's almost got like a royal appearance about it. Something about the navy against the natural just really helps you to appreciate the warmth of the natural leather against the dark, striking, cold color of the navy, if that makes any sense. I've always just loved that contrast. I have some Alden tanker boots like that too. All right, these are my Alden boots in navy chrome XL. And again, just I just love the contrast between the natural sole and the navy Chrome XL leather. Yeah, I always thought that was brilliant. And so Michael's decision to go with blue and natural, I think was a fantastic one. Truly a design after my own heart. So Michael opted for the outer cargo compartment, two lateral side compartments. On So these are both gonna be large enough to hold a water bottle if you wanted to unlatch these and throw a water bottle in there. Um, so the base is also going to be natural Dublin and so there's a new there's a new design feature that I recently refined again as I the more bags that I build the more I start to realize like there are things that I that I could improve that will enhance the usability and durability of the bag so this is my new carry handle design. It's actually one strip of leather and it's folded and stitched. The rounded side is going to be facing down and that's done on purpose so that when you grab it you, that's the tactile experience that your hand has is against that smooth side as opposed to the raw unfinished side there. And so yeah so that's just going to be a lot more sturdy and I actually add a little bit a, a small supporting strip of leather on the inside and stitch it all shut like a like a burrito almost. So here we have my tension distribution strap system. Natural du doubling on the uh, adjustment straps here. I did all contrasting leather washers. So if the leather washer was against natural doubling, it would have been in the cobalt blue Gen X leather and same vice versa. We've got cobalt blue Gen X leather double layered shoulder straps with adjustable base straps in natural doubling. And let's open this, open this baby up. So we've got double enclosure straps at the top. On the inside is a tan colored wax cotton canvassing, very durable stuff. Um, that's really gonna help uh, support the bag, reinforce the bag and Give it, give it a sense of water resistance, keep the stuff on the inside dry, as well as it just adds, like you could build a bag out of this, out of this canvassing itself. Um, it's a really thick cotton canvas. And then at the lip at the roll top opening is going to be natural Dublin as well. The rest is pretty much self-explanatory, pretty much the same as all my other roll top bags. This one is just uh, using some different leathers with a slight design improvement. All right, and aside from that, Michael, I can't wait to get this on its way to you, my friend. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please leave me your thoughts about this bag in the comments below. How did I do? I'm very pleased with how it turned out. I can't wait to see how its new owner uses it and applies it in his day-to-day -day life. One of the greatest things about 
making bags now is seeing pictures of my friends using them. You know, Dave Boots of Manish Leather, he recently uh, went on some hikes with his and my other buddy Eric Dio on Instagram. He's been taking daily pictures of his bag that I made for him in golden tan Betalassi. And it's just so, it's so flattering to see people actually using this stuff, you know. A year ago today, I would have thought you were crazy if you would have told me I'd have been making bags. And now that I'm making them and seeing people actually use them and stuff, it's it, it's wild. You know, it's a humbling experience, and and I truly enjoy it. Um, it is a lot of work, but it's very fulfilling and gratifying at the same time. So, anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see y'all in the next video.